Bum, 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 like Fantasia. We here to talk about Quando Rondo. Quando Ronius. Yes, yes, yes. We here to talk about him. He's dropped his new album, Recovery. A lot of, a lot of salt on his name. You know what I'm saying? A lot of in bad news. Of course, his partner recently passed. R.P. Lopez. I think he lost someone else recently. R.P. them too. But we finally here to talk about my nigga. You know, motherfuckers wasn't fucking with him because they, they blackballed him. They kind of blackballed all of the NBA squad. Ooh. Yeah, they kind of blackballed all of the NBA squad. It's just not NBA young boy because his fan base is just that good. They couldn't really blackball him. But like, we had to talk about Quando Rondo because he has a new album, Recovery. Now, I like it. I do. I do enjoy it. What was the last album? Was the last album still taking risks? Hold on. Because I didn't enjoy that album. So. Oh, was it? Well, technically, the last one was the joint album with him and Youngboy, which was cool. I liked a lot of Quando solo tracks more. I did enjoy still taking risks, though. I did enjoy still taking risks. I did. I did enjoy that album, so. But this has to sit with me a little bit, but I didn't enjoy that album. I don't know if he classifies it as a mixtape, whatever, but I didn't enjoy that shit. Anyways, there's like 20 songs on here. I already heard it Give Me a Sign with Quando and NBA Youngboy. That was on like the joint project. I already been heard that shit. I'm not going to talk about that. So we're going to do the 19 songs. Now, 50, cool little opening. It was what it was. Blame was hard. I enjoyed Blame. You know what I'm saying? Or sorry, let me go through track 1 through 19. So... 150, 2 Blame, 3 Lost Ones, 4 Me First, 5 Plenty Muscle, Track 6 Speeding, Track 7 Cut You Off, Track 8 Tear, tear It Down, Track 9 Vision, Track 10 Where Would I Be, Track 11 Heartaches, Track 12 RP Pet Pet, Track 13 From the Bottom, Track 14 Count Bands, Track 15 I Admit, Track 16 Long Lay Pad, Track 17 Nightmare, Track 18 No Skill, Track 19, Forever 16, and track 20, Give Me a Sign, which we already heard. And we're not going to talk about that, really. You know what I'm saying? Probably did that for Screams, but anyways. 50, cool little song, was what it was. Blame was cool. Now, after track 2, that's when I really stopped fucking with the album. Last Ones was cool, dope little track, was appreciating. And I like to see Quando and Youngboy and artists like that, I really like when they get into their pain bag, they start telling their story, like, I like that shit, you know what I'm saying? They talk that shit. You know, Me First was a good song, two track four. I enjoyed that shit. We heard that shit. It was like one of the singles. It was a very good song. Plenty Muscle, probably my favorite song. I keep going back to that song. I enjoyed that song a lot. Six Speed, and I enjoyed that shit. Like, it was very good. After that, it was very good. After them first two, it was very good for me. Terry Down was cool. I enjoyed it. By the way, listen, uh, there's a couple of y'all gangster rappers. Listen, I get it. Y'all niggas cannot make love, so I don't like it, okay? <laughs> I don't. Track 9, Vision. Vision was cool. Track 10, Where Would I Be? I enjoyed it. Track 11, Hard Days. That was what it was. RP, Fat Fit. Good song. I enjoyed it as well. Track 13, From the Bottom. I enjoyed that shit. Like, there's nothing really wrong with this album. Probably it just has to grow on me a little bit more. Or I need to sit down and listen to the songs a little bit more. Because I don't know. Because I remember the first time I heard I Take Risks. Still take a risk. I fucking enjoyed it. That shit was fire as fuck. The Young Boy album, the collab album, they did eh. They could have took a little bit more time with that one. Could have took a little bit of time. But usually when they do collabs, it was good. Like that gangster collab off of the Colors tape. I enjoyed that shit. That was like that was my ringtone for a while. I was daddy screaming, "Grand baby, granny, grand baby, ride three hundred bands later." I take that shit and got you not like you. Know what I'm saying what you mean. That shit, I was. Vibing with that shit, but anyways. Track 59 Mill was cool. Long lip pad. Hard as fuck. Very like emotional song. I enjoyed that shit. You know what I'm saying? Track 17 Nightmare was cool. Track 18 No Scale was good. 19 Forever 16 was good. We ain't gonna talk about last track. We've been heard that shit. Now, what do I really gotta say about this album? It's the same type of Quando stuff. Maybe his back. I wouldn't say his back is against the wall more. I would say. Probably, I don't know if he dropped an EP when the young, uh, was End of Story on Still Taking Risks? Hold on, I really gotta see. I don't know if he dropped a project around that time. 
Like, I, I don't know if Endo Story was on Stilted Universe. I really don't know. Yeah, End of Story wasn't on Still to Hear Us. Okay. So, yeah, that was basically after the whole thing with Quan, Quan, Vaughn, and that shit happened. So, that was after all of that. That fucking happened. And he's been doing his thing after since, you know, the black ball people not fuck with him. Of course, the passing of his loved ones. This whole, like, it's the, like, I get it. The beef ain't going in. Like, some people died. But, like, come on, folks. It sucks that he's blackballed. You know what I'm saying? Because he is a talented artist and he does have fucking talent. I do fuck with Ronald Ronald. I know motherfuckers. I would say niggas kind of choose dark side, but like, that's how it's fucking appearing. But it is what it is. I feel like maybe he was missing like some, a, a couple more standout tracks. Plenty of muscle I enjoy, like Me First, like Long Live Pab, of course. I feel like he needed, on the last album he had with Youngboy. The collab joint, he had cream soda. I feel like he needed a cream soda. He needed something like that. I would have kept that and held that for this project, to be fair. He needed some shit like that, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's still a good album. Still a good body of work. Is it my favorite Kwando album? No, but again, I need to listen to it more. I really do need to listen to it more. You know what I'm saying? And rock out and really like vibe out with it. But what, from what I could say, it is a good listen. He hasn't like lost his step. And he's doing his thing. I really like when he gets in his pain bag. His little uh romantic rap talk shit ain't for me personally. The beat selection was good. I didn't really have problems with the beat selections. And yeah. Good good tape. He could improve. I just feel like he was missing some songs. Maybe if he had like catch your hooks. As well, that probably would have been better if he had some more catchier hooks and like just some more standalone, like a hard knocking song, like you just bop, 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 like it's a vibe. Maybe that could help better. Of course, he didn't really have features as well, that could have helped as well. Call Young Boy, No Cap, whoever you could get. Well, I, I get Young Boy's on the album, but nigga, we've been heard that song, fo. We ain't trying to hear that again. And that was on the collab joint, like, come on, fo, like, you're not know doing all that. Like, yeah, you could have got, like, some features from some people. And, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because it was just him for, like, 19 songs. See? If you really want to include that young boy out, a song. Like, yeah, just freshen it up a little bit. And it probably would have been a more enjoyable listen. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. Black ball, the whole Dirk and young boy thing. I get it. But who knows? We'll see what happens with the next tape. But it's not bad at all. I would say. Missing something, but not bad. The difference is, remember when I did the uh, review about Lil Baby shit? Like, Lil Baby was just missing shit, and I have really never really went back to that album. Been a minute or in a minute, that's probably the song I really go back to. But everything else, and Real Spill, I do enjoy Real Spill. I do enjoy Real Spill, and fuck, what's that other song? There's another song I fucking enjoy. What's that? Song with a guitar, like I'm still a goon. Like that song, I forgot what the fuck it was called. Oh, I go back to that song. I do like Russian Roulette. There like four songs I go back to at most off that album. But like every other baby project, I got a couple I could keep in rotation. I was listening to that shit with Freestyle on it. That album, I think it was like Too Hard and Mixed It. I was like, oh, he has some shit on here. I forgot about some of this shit. Like, dead ass. But, hey. It is what it is. Hopefully, hey. Yeah, this one is just... Yeah, we just needed to hear more voices and change it up a little bit. Maybe tackle some different beats. You know what I'm saying? Push yourself. Like, try some new shit. Because I guess we know your bag. and But I get it. A lot of shit happened. You got to get some shit off your chest, which I understand. But I feel like for the next project, just got to try a little bit more new shit and... Also, um, yeah, more features. But then at the same time, with them doing these collab tapes, he's probably tired of working with his niggas. Not that he disliked them. Like, I work with y'all a lot. I'm trying to work with some new niggas. You know what I'm saying? Boy, this whole black ball shit. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And these black balls, so of course, the label ain't really pushing this shit. But yeah. But what do you feel about this little situation? Situation. How do you feel about this project? Did you enjoy this? Like me? I enjoyed it. Could have been better. I'll give it a 7. Seven. I, I hate doing the number grade shit. I'll give it like a say. It's good, bro. It's not bad. 
It's a good seven, seven point five. Like it's a good, it's a good little list. I enjoyed the shit. I have some standout songs on here that I go back to and I bump. You know what I'm saying? The other songs aren't bad except the relationship songs. Not for me or Kwando. This is what it is. But yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, how do you how do y'all feel about it? Put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Besides all that, hey, you already know what it is. Your friendly neighborhood K hey, signing off for today. The black TJ that while they're doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe. You try to hear a little bit more and I'm gone. You hear me? Shalom Zoom Peace Shadows gang. Aye.